Okay, well today we are here at the Goodwill of Lemoyne. I don't know why I keep wanting to say Antiques Marketplace of Lemoyne. We are at the Goodwill and uh, we're gonna head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for profit. Here we go. Okay, well this place is extremely crowded today. Um, so I'm not sure how long I'm going to last, but I'm going to do my best. I kind of like the looks of that up there. That is pretty. Hmm. Teleflora. Of course it is. But it's got daisies on it. <laughs> With the angel on it. <laughs> it's not a glassy baby. Uh, let's look at this. Oh, that is melamine. $12.99 originally. that back there. The gift of something. The gift of prayer. That looks like a Vitrock bowl down there. Let's check it out. $3.99. It is Vitrock. Hmm. I don't see any damage on it. That's great. Let's stick it in there. Well, that was exciting to find that bowl. <laughs> I was worried that we weren't going to find anything with all the people circling the aisles. Well, I usually save the Christmas for last, but since I had such good luck here the last time, I'm going to check it out. Santa through the years. I remember looking those up and they don't do exceedingly well. It looks like fun. That looks like one of those Cracker Barrel games almost. <laughs> Open sesame. It's not gonna work. This little piggy bank is absolutely adorable for $3.99. Mud pie. <laughs> really cute. It's missing its stopper though. I know you can get replacements, but I'm just not that committed. Oh look, here's some more blendo. $6.99. We found blendo the last time we were here too. Uh, $4.99 and $6.99. I, I see, I have a thing for Blendo. That's my problem. Even though the resale value on it is not exceedingly high, I just love it. So I'm going to buy it. Even though it's a little bit spendy. Little beads in there. What is that? Oh, that's a golf print of some sort. <laughs> Somebody stuck a thumbtack right through the center. There's somebody's piggy collection. This guy I think is supposed to like lean off the shelf like that. Kinda like the looks of those. Those are pretty. I feel like I've seen those before. They have like a, ooh, they have like a reverse design to them. I don't know though. I guess I am being a little bit more selective since I've taken like a hiatus from listings. Why? <laughs> Why though? That's kind of sad. Classy baby? No. That's a pretty bowl. Made in India? No, Viking import Japan. I like that. I, um, I'm not quite sure what it's made out of. It's almost like a, I don't know. It's not porcelain, I can tell you that. What in the world is that thing? Portable campfire. Oh, that's pretty cool. Here is a pair of candlestick holders. They have kind of a carnival glass finish on them, $2.99. Oh, it's just wax. I thought maybe they were damaged, but it's just wax. So I'll grab those. That's a pretty vase. They have about five or six carts out right now. And, um, ooh, I've got some. What are those? Definitely vintage. Ooh, I want to dig in there, but I also don't want to damage anything, so I might have to wait. Wait a minute and um, let them empty it out some. It's kind of 
of a pretty lamp, and that one wouldn't be too difficult to ship. It's $4.99. It's tested. It works. It needs like a Torchair shade, it looks like. But I've got a few of those at the shop. I'm kind of almost wondering if it would match my bedspread um, in, in our bedroom. I think I'm going to pick that up, and if it doesn't match, that we will sell it. $3.99. Those things are kind of wild looking. Oh, I guess one's, one's lost the head. That's unfortunate. In China. Oh, I guess it just slides way back into place, but I don't know. <laughs> Very tall. Hmm. I feel like I've bought one of these before for $4.99, but it was smaller. Definitely uh, Pennsylvania Dutch. I'll stick it in here. I kind of like those. Oh, those are modern. Hmm. Huh. Wasn't expecting that. Mikasa. Interesting. Oh, well, look. There's another cart. That's what I said. They're like rolling out the carts like crazy. What is this? There is a head down in there. <laughs> Somebody's head. There's a brandy snifter. I might dig for that. Well, there is a giant amber brandy snifter at the bottom of this cart. You can kind of see it there. I really want it, but I also don't want to go like digging through here and break anything. Well, it looks like these made their way out onto the shelf. They're really pretty. But goodness gracious, I don't need any more. I say that every time I come across plates. I'm like, I don't need them, but I want them. I'm gonna leave them. All right. Well, I noticed this from the other side of the shelf. Oh my gosh, it's Bud Light. That's funny. It's like, what is that? That's actually pretty cool looking. Does it open? I'm confused. How does it work? Oh, there it goes. You know what? I might look this up just because it's funky. Well, here's one that had Spuds and McKenzie on it, and that one sold for forty-four ninety-five. Looks like the other ones just sell for around yeah. 10 to 15 bucks, so I think I'm gonna put that one back. Oh my gosh, it's only 99 cents. When was the last time we saw something for only 99 cents? There is some Williamsburg reproduction. I don't know, it seems like that one was kind of crude. Is it a second? It's not marked second, but um, just the way the handle's attached is kind of sloppy. 199, I like the shape of that. That's kind of pretty. Dollar ninety nine. Hmm. I don't know if it's like a little dish or it always oh, a candlestick holder. Maybe that's what it is. Either a pillar candle or a regular candle. Uh, I don't need a single. If that is in fact what it is. Okay, here we are in purses. There are some Vera's. Is that even a purse? It's like a little box thing. Yeah. That's a weird looking bag. Oh, it's really gross colored. What even is that? The limited. Yeah, it's gross. <laughs> There's the snifter. Let's shift that out of there. Maybe. There we go. Oh, look at that. Beautiful amber brandy snifter. This is back in there. It's like some toys and stuff. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Oh, he's a thermometer. He's neat. Two ninety-nine. Those are. Pretty, like, did I not just say no? No more plates. I don't need plates. What are those? Oh, they're Theodore Haviland. Hmm. Okay, so those ones I'm a little tempted by. Two ninety nine. I feel like three six nine. So nine bucks for the whole stack, and I feel like those plates at least would sell for like eight to twelve a piece. 
And that's just without looking at the pattern and just going by what they are and what the name is on them. I think I'm going to grab plates today. I hope I don't regret it. <laughs> they're pretty easy to list though and they're just quantity so I shouldn't have too much issue. I had noticed this earlier and I was kind of thrown off by the hand painted flowers on there but when you turn it this way it really looks like American um, arts and crafts style pottery. Uh, I can't see any markings. It looks like there might be something there on the bottom. $4.99. Uh, you know what? We'll give that a shot. So the bottom does have a uh, 45 stamp on it. Hmm. So we kind of have a theme here in our cart today. It's definitely like amber, orange, warm colors. What is that? $1.99. Is it like a carved nut or something? Burlwood? I wonder if it's supposed to be holding something. $1.99. Okay. I don't know what it is, but I like it. That is Nantucket Home. It's kind of a flashed red. It's not actually red glass. Steve Carlton bobblehead. I wonder if these things are worth anything. <laughs> okay, it's not worth much, so I'm gonna keep moving. I do wanna check out these pans down here. Bulb head, red copper. Hmm. After uh, finding those, those uh, cast iron pans, I've, it's kinda opened my eyes to looking at cookware just a little bit. Here are some fun glasses. Looks like there's only three of them. They are house. Um, let's see, they're that's the same brand of those Christmas glasses that I got the other the other day at Goodwill. The other day was like two weeks ago. Um, I feel like those might be worth looking up. The graphics are good. No sign of being run through the dishwasher too many times. Okay, so I looked these up for a minute, and um, they're a buck ninety-nine a piece. It looks like a set of four of these just recently sold for twelve dollars, and uh, I think it's six bucks. It's really not worth it. So I'm just gonna put those back on the shelf in the brown section where they belong. <laughs> Check this out. Is that a watercolor? Looks like it. These are $1.99, $2.99, but they're made of melamine, New Jersey. Those might be something good, especially since it's a set. Okay, well, I think I'm going to get out of here, but before I do, I'm going to go poke through the bins one last time. It's kind of chipped up. Looks like. Ooh. Yeah, I thought maybe it was porcelain. <laughs> it's a cute mug with a parrot on it. A local piece. <laughs> I think you missed the Kramer in here to go with your sugar bowl. There you go. <laughs> You're welcome. It's a shame that this is missing a lid because that's really pretty. Yeah, it has no lid. <laughs> that looks like Dorothy Thorpe. One ninety nine. It's really wide. There we go. You know what, I might grab this and uh, stick it in our booth. This is very colorful, probably a hobbyist um, Holland Atlantic mold. It's an Atlantic mold piece. So I messed up a little bit because this morning I went to the old house and loaded up on stuff to bring over to the new house and then I never emptied it out. So now I've got to finagle to get all this stuff in there. and. Uh, it's not wrapped, so it's going to be an interesting ride home. 
Well, our total spend there at the Goodwill was right around $75, and I feel like we got some really great stuff today. I was pretty pleased with our full cart. Um, I am back at the shop now. We started going through some of the auction winnings in yesterday's video, and I feel like I want to continue that momentum and go through another box with all of you today. So I'm going to unload one of the boxes on the cart and show you what we bought at auction. Okay, well here we are with everything unloaded on the top of the cart. There's quite a few items here that I'm questioning my judgment on. <laughs> Why did I buy that? Um, but I'm sure they were probably part of a lot. And um, yeah, well, anyway, we're just going to go through it. Here we go. So I bought all of this clear glass crystal. Some of it's crystal. And this is a Waterford clock. And this one over here is also a Waterford crystal clock. So I'm going to have to figure out if I can get those working because they're not currently working. So it might be an issue of batteries or something else. I'm going to have to fuss with those before I get those listed. Um, in that lot was also some perfume bottles. So this one is really nice. It's faceted. It has really nice clarity. Unfortunately, I just felt a chip there on the edge. So there is a little bit of chipping on that. No markings. But it is a pretty bottle with that faceting. This one over here. Uh, also unmarked, you can see the seams on it. Kind of a mix of clear and satin. Uh, this was also in that lot. This one is marked Aldon, made in the Republic of China. I don't know if that's a, is that an elephant or is it a ant eater? Or a pig, I don't know. Might be a <laughs> combination of all. Uh, this was in that lot. Ooh, I just smacked that. Uh, this was in that lot. This is Gobel, an elephant. We have this ring holder, which could be Waterford. Yeah, there's a Waterford mark on the bottom. As you see, it looks like it. It is. It's marked on the bottom. Waterford. This guy is probably the reason I bought all this, all this stuff. Because it's a cat. And it's textured. I believe... Oh, it is marked. I was going to say, I think it's made in Japan. Let's look. It is. Sasaki made in Japan. There you go. So he was really cool. He reminded me of Blanco. Then there are these two obelisks. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm not really sure. There's two of them. They're, they're two different sizes. And on one side, you can see it just looks like a weird cut design. But when you turn it, it kind of looks like a pagoda. Really tall one. And there's two of those. So those were definitely interesting. I don't know anything about them. But I thought that the technique was really neat. And uh, there's no signatures on them. But those are really cool. I'll probably sell those as a pair. There are some paperweights here, obviously, and they are marked. This one is Genteel Glass. Um, Star City, West Virginia, looks like. So this is likely a pen holder. You would stick your pens in there. And it's also a paperweight. This is a pen holder slash paperweight. There are no markings on this, but I absolutely love the pattern of the blue on the interior. Here. <laughs> this is Alexandrite glass. In yesterday's video where we started this haul, I showed you a piece that had been victim in the box, unfortunately. Uh, it did break in the box. This one has some chips on it, but you can kind of see that transition of uh, purple the way you hold it, it's either purple or blue, and that's kind of what um, what makes it Alexandrite glass. On it, it says handmade in Scotland. So that's a cool piece. Even though it does have the chip, I probably will still sell that. Here are some little plates. Oh my gosh, I have so many of these. <laughs> I don't know if these actually have value. I haven't looked them up, so I may have to do a little research on these. These were extra in a lot. This is Princess Grace. This guy looks like Benjamin Franklin. I'm just kidding. It's George Washington. Um, and this one, Christmas 1982. So I also have a bunch of them that I've set aside in uh, donate slash auction boxes uh, where I cycle things back through. And I have a bunch set aside. So I'm going to have to research them. You know what? Maybe I have a winner. I just don't know it. So this is the lot I'm questioning myself about. And I'm like, why did I buy that? Or was there something in the lot that I was attracted to? I don't know. 
What's interesting about this piece, and I'm not really mad at it, is look how thin that is. That is paper thin. And I kind of expected it to have a litho paint on the bottom, which is when you hold it up to the light, you can see like a person or maybe something naughty. A lot of the times there's naughty images in the bottom. Um, <laughs> also, I believe when you add hot water, the image appears. But um, that was just really dainty. I was surprised that this wasn't a victim in the box, if I'm being completely honest. Here's another one. Same thing. Extremely thin. And uh, you can see there are markings on the bottom of the saucers. And they're kind of strangely shaped saucers. Apparently somebody paid $10 for that in 1994. So there you go. So those two were part of a lot, and I'm thinking that maybe I bought it because of this butterfly plate. That's a possibility, because I do like the butterfly. But then I was also thinking, well, maybe Andrew bought it because of this eagle plate. I don't know. I'm confused. Um, my hands are full, but let's see if we can flip this over. So that's marked on the bottom as well, and it has Asian characters that I'm not going to be able to translate for you. But I like the butterfly plate, and I don't know if maybe he was bidding on the eagle plate. So I'm going to just set those here. Here's another paperweight. This one is marked on the bottom OBG, 1990. Unfortunately, there is a um, fracture there where it must have bumped against something. You can kind of see it depending on where the light goes. It's not necessarily a chip, but it's definitely a fracture. So that's a shame, but it has a really nice iridescence to it. Here is an amber glass vase. I don't see very much value in that. It was probably an extra. Here's some cut, um, blue cut to clear, made in made, handmade crystal. I can't read USSR. So that's a pretty vase. This one was the first item I pulled out of the box, and I'm like, I don't remember that, but I really like it. You can see it's marked on the bottom, but it's like overlapped. It's like they they wrote multiple things on the bottom. That's really pretty with those flowers. And then lastly is this shell-shaped dish, and that's marked on the bottom. It is crystal. That was probably in the clear lot. And it's marked V-A-N-N-E-S, crystal. I feel like I've heard that before, um, but I, I don't know. So anyway, that's everything that I got in the second box. And I hope you enjoy it going through it with me. Uh, but I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to get this stuff offloaded onto the shelves to be listed. And um, I'm going to move on with my day. So I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day. And I've posted a link to that down in the description.